What's going on, Combat Sports Nation? This is Sean here with my coverage of the Reality Fighting 102 from this past weekend, where we were able to catch up with Justin Valentin, who's now 2-0 after a very close split decision victory uh, against Ron Leon. Uh, he, Justin entered that fight uh, riding a three-fight winning streak. All finishes previously, including in November, he won his pro debut by first-round guillotine. Uh, very, again, very tough fight. I asked Justin what he knew of his opponent going in and if the matchup went how he expected. I knew he was going to be strong. I knew I was gonna, I was going to fight a guy uh, just as strong or or strong stronger than me. But um, I'm always hunting for the finish, man. If I take somebody down, I'm, I'm looking for the sub, looking for the ground and pound. Um, it's kind of disappointing not be able to get it, but I'll take the win because. That was a tough ass dude. So I try to stay busy on the ground, try to throw some punches, try to slip in some elbows when I can. But uh, he had pretty good defense, so it was tough. Each fighter in this bout had each other in some tough situations at key points in their fight. So I asked Justin what was his corner's advice heading into the third and waiting for the decision, how he felt the call was gonna go. Work my stand up a little bit more, trying to try to get my right hook to, to land on there. Uh, it's been finding its sweet spot the last few fights, but it didn't, it didn't find the mark today. But um, yeah, we're, we're just looking to, to win the fight, just stay on top. If I was getting, if we were going to the ground, staying on top, staying busy. Uh, but he we was going back and forth, I guess, in the third. I don't really recall too much. It, it was kind of a blur, but uh, the dude was tough. Ron is a tough ass dude, man. I think I edged it out a little bit. I think I was, uh, I think I had the top position a little bit more. I think I was uh, staying pretty busy. Um, and every time he got on top, it wasn't that long. So uh, I, thought I, I thought I definitely edged it out. Since going pro just two months ago, uh, now 2-0 and o as a pro, it's very impressive. We're excited to see what he does for the remaining of 2019. Uh, he said with the two fight camps back to back, he is going to take a little bit of time off. So we're very excited to see what a fully recovered, uh, ramped up Justin Valentin's gonna look like uh, when he returns. So give a listen, also a sign off to everybody who helps him and all of his supporters. Uh, I think try to get another one in, probably during the summer. Uh, me and my fiance are trying to get married uh, in, in around the May time. So um, I think maybe, maybe the summertime, I'm, I'm ready to take a, like a little, a little break, staying busy though, uh, keep training. But two fight camps in a row, my body's beat up, uh, but I just got a lot of things to work on. I, I, I'm a very critical of myself, so uh, I got a lot of things to work on. And uh, maybe in the summertime, get, a, get another shot in here maybe and uh, look for that finish. I'm, I'm from Meriden, Connecticut. Uh, I rep the 203, but all my training, basically all my training is uh, in Hartford, West Hartford line at Underdog, Mixed Martial Arts. I train also at Ascension MMA, Ascension Athletics. And, uh, and JSA Cage in Cromwell. So shout out to those schools for, for helping me uh, develop my skills and become an all around true fighter. There you have it, my interview with Justin Valentin. Again, great guy, awesome fight, close. Uh, he was able to persevere. He's been in tough spots throughout his amateur and pro career now, so he's definitely battle-tested. And once again, we look forward to seeing what he has to bring for the remaining of the year. Please follow us on social media, uh, Combat Sports Nation, Facebook, Instagram, and as well as Twitter. Follow us on Instagram, watch us on YouTube, check us out on Facebook, visit us on Twitter, and stay tuned.